Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will complete the login functionality entire with the loading spinner and the validation errors, everything. We will complete the login functionality as we have seen already about the sign up functionality. So, how to add the loading spinner, how to add the validation errors, and all those things sign up functionality we have seen, right? In the in one video, we will try to complete the login functionality. So, why? Because we have already know how to add the loading spinner validations and all those things. Now, let's go here. Let's try to add in the pages login.js file. So first what I will try to do, I will try to add login.js file. So this is the login.js file and you will be having the function login of props, you will be having the props and let's try to return div. Okay, so here one div. So login page, so I will be having something like this and here export default login so just we will try to default login so this is the login component and we will go to app.js to add the routing so in the routing i can just copy and i can just paste it slash login i can load the log component login component that's it now what we'll try to do we will go to the header.js so this is the header.js and we i will add this link also so now when I try to paste here login and I can do the login here directly. Hopefully we have added the link and we have added the component and we have given the routing everything is fine. Let's go here and we will be able to see the login if I click here I am able to see the login page also. Perfect. Now what I will try to do so login for design and sign up design is most probably one and the same. Why can't we copy everything whatever here we are having this div right. So I will try to copy here everything whatever we are having here. Let's go to login.js and I will paste it here. Okay. Now what I will try to do here the loader component. So we need the loader component in the login. Let's sorry. Let's try to add this loader component and props error message and all those things will be coming from the map state to props. And here we can change this one to on login the method. We will try to add that method. Email and we can go to the signup.js. Hopefully what we can do is we can also copy these all the error messages and passwords. So I can copy this one as both are one and the same only. So here I can do the same thing. Okay. Use state. Let's import this use state from react and what I can do here on login we need to add this one set email and everything is Hopefully everything is fine I think yeah so we need to add only that function what is that function on login I am having I am adding here function so that you will be able to see yeah function on login this is the login we are having sorry and hopefully we can have this uh, this entire function also we can copy it and we can paste it I think right let's try to add it let's uh, what we can say let uh, yeah this all one and the same only code so we can have this one and we can write here directly yeah email is required these all things are fine dispatch we need to use this dispatch that is nothing but constant dispatch is equal to use dispatch you can directly use this one fine and loading toggle to action we need that one to load to, to show the loading and here we need to add the actions so these are the new actions so login action these are the actions we need to create now let's come down and if you go to the signup.js, these are all map state to props are also necessary. Why? Because we need to send it. Here what we can do is, so here I can add this one. Okay. So I can connect this map state to props and we can send it to login. So from this component point of view, we have completed the thing. So let's go to the auth actions. So auth actions we need the act we need to create an actions for the login functionality. Now here if you go to the auth actions we will be having two things that is nothing but in the same scenario export constant login confirmed action right and here I will be having something like login action action confirmed login right confirmable login this is the confirmable login and another one is the login failed action the login failed action so this is the failed login 
So you'll be having two things when the login is success and then when the login is failed. Now let's go to let's try to create the login action also. Export function login action and here we'll be calling the Redux thunk that is nothing but the dispatch and in this dispatch you need to call the Axios login functionality. So we will create the service file same thing like sign up we will create the service file also. Now here I can write something like export function login and you will be getting the email and the password as the parameters and here we need to call the in same thing somehow we will be having the same thing only I think. So but the URL will be changing let's go into the file authorized API and sign in with email and password if you come here. Uh, so here I need to paste it. So I will copy this entirely and I will replace this one up to here. Okay, right. So now I replaced this one entirely. Now email password and everything is fine. Yeah, login everything is fine. Perfect. Now what I can do is now here I will add this login. Now let's try to send this. So here we will be having this email and password. We need to we will be sending this email and password from there and I will call this login from the service and we will try to send this e sorry email and the password so dot then you will be getting the response the same response you will be getting if you try to see the code so now I can dispatch the same thing okay so I can dispatch the same thing but here you will be having confirmed login action we like we need to create this action also we need to remember and if it is a catch same thing if it is a catch okay then I need to format the error we will try to format and we will create login failed action okay so these two action creator also let's create and we will leave it here we will leave this file so login failed action login failed action and here you will be having the data right and what I can do so we need to return the type that is nothing but login confirmed action and the payload we can send the data directly okay that's it and here what we will try to do I will have another one export function login confirmed action and you will be getting the message here actually error message so what I can do here return type is equal to so here what I can do is type is equal to login underscore failed underscore action and the payload I can send the message directly okay so up to here this one is completed and confirm login action we can paste it here also oh, sorry what is this one login confirmed action and login failed action we need to copy this one login confirmed action here yeah that's it now in this format error we need to format there why because we have written the format error for only the email already exists. So let's go to the authorized API if you try to see here in the common error codes you will be having email not found invalid password and user disabled. So let's try to copy this one email not found and here I can write something like case oh, sorry email not found and I can return message something like email not found okay and in the case next one is the I didn't remember let's copy this one okay invalid password and I can paste it here something like and I can return invalid password right and another one what we can do is another one is another case is there actually so what is that case user disabled so in this disabled so we can write something like return user disable perfect right so we have written all the cases so we are having all the cases so we can confidently use this for format error so that for the login also it will it will give you the format error error message a corresponding error message now in this auth actions i think hopefully we have completed without any problem let's go to the auth reducer so now the next one remaining is the auth reducer in this auth reducer what i need to do so first if action type I can copy this one directly and I can paste it here but here if it is login underscore confirm underscore action is there means then action dot payload what you are oh sorry login 
underscore confirm confirm underscore action is there means then you will be getting the payload error message should be empty and here you need to write the success message login successfully completed and show loading false perfect and if it is the payload means so here I can write something like or action dot type is equal to is equal to so login underscore failed underscore action then error message paste it success message empty show loading empty everything is empty so we can write it like this now let's try to see the output so how we can get the output so hopefully login.js also is working fine let's go here if we try to see login action is not defined fine so let's go to the login here this is the problem we are getting and we are having this login action right now if i go if i refresh here yeah. so now we are able to see the sign up but actually this one should be a login so now what i can do i can change this one to login text okay so we are just using the same sign up design only we are using in the login also just for learning purpose we are doing so no need to bother about the design thing so design thing design thing means you have to practice so that you will be able to understand what is going on so now here if i click on the login we are able to see email is required password is required so i am giving the username and password which is already existed in my database okay so one two three with the correct password so this is my correct password login so let's try to click on the login getting error let's try to refresh it again okay so i am trying to refresh it again now let's try to see it again so sorry yeah at rate gmail.com and one two three four five six seven eight nine zero login now we got some objects react child something we got an error what could be the error here child found object with this error you want to render it then arrange it some problem has been came i think let's try to see the auth actions what we are trying to do so here we are getting a data and sorry here we are getting the data and login confirmed action we are trying to send the message oh, oh everything wrong i think okay login failed action login confirmed action okay fine dispatch we are dispatching with the response data and this this response data is going to here payload dot message okay let's assume that it's a data nothing happens so, so it's only the variable name changes right login can log oh here see we have differentiated this one so, so login underscore failed underscore action so we should be very careful while writing but if you are uh, perfect in the coding means so you can able to easily recognize this type of errors but if we are practicing and all this means this type of errors will be a nightmare for us so sometimes we'll get uh, vex and we will leave the coding also so uh, now if i am trying to i am clicking here yeah okay no problem Lila web dev just copy me paste mistakes those all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 let's try to click here yeah see login successfully completed we are able to see that login successfully completed why because i have given a correct password now what i will try to do i will try to give a wrong password see here invalid password I will try to give an email which doesn't exist in the database if i click here email not found so we are able to successfully do this one all so now when i try to refresh this page so no store is found okay now login so here in the init and in the state in the auth we are not having anything so auth is having everything is an empty now what i will try to do leela web dev at the rate gmail.com i will give giving the correct username and the details so login i clicked on the login now we will try to see the auth thing so now here you will be able to see in the auth we are able to see all the data so all the data has been inserted into the store so this is how we will be doing the login functionality so we have completed successfully completed the login functionality and also the sign up functionality in the next video we will try to go little bit further about the authentication so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.